Hi YouTube, uh, Fizzy here. Welcome to my uh, mess. I've got my plates disassembled. Um, what I'm doing is coating the ends of the plates with brush-on electrical tape. Unfortunately with this electrical tape um, it evaporates so quickly that I tried brushing it on and all I got was little globs. So what I've discovered is that if I put in a combination of the electrical tape and acetone, it dilutes it down so I can brush it on evenly and get a good contact with the plates. So um, this garage is extremely well ventilated. I have industrial fans in here. Um, so anybody who's interested in doing this, don't do it in your house. Uh, do it with tons of ventilation because this stuff is, uh, well, deadly. Um, so, I will finish this up. I also have um, shrink wrap wrapped um, heat, heat shrink tubing that um, I'm going to shrink with this doohickey. This looks pretty cool. And um, so this will be covered with the tubing and then everything else will be covered with the electrical tape. I watched some past um, videos from Smart Scarecrow. Uh, he's got a great one of explaining the brick. And what I'm going to try to do is, um, this is a fully immersed environment uh, using what's called brute force. Um, I'm going to increase the number of plates, uh, keep them coated, and see if I can get um, voltage around two, two and a half volts. Um, and crank up the amperage a bit. I'm just going to show you what I've done in terms of amperage. Over here I have safety first two car batteries that are daisy chained together. Um, uh, that will give me uh, more voltage and lots of amperage. So we'll run that through and see what kind of volume we get in the uh, test environment. And from there, um, I will be tuning the environment by adding uh, more plates. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to add more units. So. I don't know what optimal is, but I'm willing to add up to four of these together because I'd like to generate a lot of hydrogen, test it on the lawnmower, and then uh, redesign this environment, which is, you know, this is a water filter, so it's not really built for going inside an automobile. Um, but I'll design something a little more industrial so that we can get it in the car and see what happens there. So stay tuned and uh, on to the next test. Fizzy out.